All right, so according to our beautiful manual, step seven to, is to install the RAM, RAM modules. So I have here eight gigs of DDR3 ECC RAM. It is going to go on slot DIMM A1 and DIMM B1. And that actually came out from the micro server I decommissioned a few months back. It's only 8 gigs for now, but for my use, is enough. Moving on, make server board power connections. That means it's time to install the power supply. All right, it actually fits perfectly. And the heatsink also fits perfectly. So my hope is when I close the chassis, the cover is gonna touch the heat sink and it's gonna actually help dissipate the heat out so the air inside of the case should not get so hot and if the top of the chassis gets a bit warm to touch it's not a problem let's see how it's gonna work i'm glad it fits perfectly i'll be able to close the chassis and the power supply is gonna ventilate well i'm actually wondering whether before screwing the power supply in, I should connect the cables and yeah, I think I'm gonna have yeah, I'm gonna have an easier day if I do that, so let's just keep the power supply like this alright, so let's begin with the motherboard power connector so I'm put it down and see how, how it should fit so if it is like this, I will route the cable here. This cable is obviously very hard, so I will need to do some malabarism here with the SATA cables afterwards. All right, what do we have next? Mm, CPU power. and it's an 8 pin so the cables are well marked so you see this N goes on the PSU and then you have CP and U beautiful isn't it anyway alright so I move the power supply, supply up again and this is gonna get less and less fun as I have more cables connected so the cables are flat uh, and that should help with airflow if you would be using a conventional design uh, this is not a conventional design so let's see and I'm gonna actually move it around like this because it's gonna go through the front because it should connect here All right, what's next? I actually don't have much else to connect. I will need one SATA power cable and it should be included. So here we have it. One six pin port on the power supply and then SATA power. I'm thinking now, since I'm the commission that micro server, I may consider um, removing the CD drive, not sure if it's SATA or IDE, and installing it here. But that would mean I would break the chassis and I'll probably hardly ever use the optical drive, but could be a possibility. Okay, I think I can move the power supply down now. SATA power is here available. Alright, so I'm going to use this 32 gig SSD here that I have laying around. This is basically a bootloader because I'm going to store uh, the virtual machines and the output of whatever is running the server into my NAS. So nothing is going to be stored locally and that is to minimize heat generation and power requirements. So that's how all it's going to be here. 
I could install it like this, but I don't have like a shelf or anything like that to put it underneath. So for now, it's just gonna be hanging around. It's a very light drive, so it's not gonna be a problem. So power goes here, and I bought a SATA cable. And you know, in case this project fails, I still have two fans here that I can use. Let's go to port zero. This is very loose. I don't like it at all. Wow, it is extremely loose. I cannot believe there is nothing underneath this. It's really bad. I'm afraid of pushing the connector down. I just hold it with my finger, good. Yes, to the SATA disk. Goes in here. And it looks awful. I can hide it here for now, or maybe forever, who knows. I can just store it here. Yeah, the here is better because then the cable is not going everywhere. Beautiful. We have almost everything connected. Now, let's see what your R manual says. Install optical hard drive and hard drives, connect hard drives to the motherboard, attach intrusion switch connector. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, so here I have some sort of um, the jumper. Well, a cable should go here, and if the chassis is open, it would probably ring an alarm. I'm not gonna connect this one, I really hope it's not necessary. All right, attach front panel serial USB connectors. So the motherboard has a serial port reader, and that is right. So this is a serial port. No, actually, this is a front panel. Uh, Read this. Um, USB 4 and 5. That will not work with my USB 3 header here. Um, well, let's go one by one. USB goes here. And it has a different sound. No, it doesn't. So front USB is now connected. Funny though, the the socket's much larger than the connector. So USB is done. Now to the rest. I don't know what the orientation is because the chassis doesn't have the the indent here, the, the mark, so and the manual doesn't really help. So I guess I'm gonna have to try. Same goes to the power switch. I would say the marking doesn't face the pin, so should go like this. But to the rest, so what, I, what else do I have? Okay, I need to separate these cables now, so I take this out for a moment. All right, so to the reference, I have power LED, and it doesn't tell me what's the the positive and the negative one and that is really really annoying uh the reference guy doesn't have the polarity uh, which kind of suck the reset switch should be this third and fourth here actually fourth and fifth then the power button should be this one and i'm yes i'm assuming the polarity because there is nothing on the instructions or i'm a complete idiot i cannot read it these two no idea where plus and minus are i'm just gonna follow the the pattern 
again assuming the polarity but the pattern cons seems consistent and we are fully connected so we have our hard drive the fans are out because we're not going to use them uh, US frontal USB is connected and power and LEDs are all connected and before I screw the power supply in I think we can run it and see how it goes so let's turn the power supply on the only thing right. I placed that has so a VGA back connection is the power supply, the, TV, the screws, so I had to move and the server the here, installed. and so I'm ready for the first run. There's the motherboard to the shaft up at the motherboard, and then connecting the, the power supply the motherboard to everything doesn't else. Matter. So, we should be ready to run it. I'm gonna push the power button, let's see what happens. And yes, some things clicked. And... Totally quiet. Diagnostic LEDs are coming on. Nothing on the TV. And it's probably complaining about the fan. Okay. So now I should probably uh, uh, finish. Now I should probably mm -hmm. get the the power supply fixed connect the keyboard and mouse and get oh, Linux yeah. installed once the server is up and running I'm gonna do a walkthrough so stay tuned and in a month or so I should have a full review of how it performs the stability the thermals and etc thank you for watching and see you next time